Should we just search romantic comedies on Netflix and then see what we find? Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Hopefully today there'll be no embarrassing things behind me, such as washing in the washing machine, like last time. So in my previous video, when I was sat here in my kitchen, I was talking about gifts. Now, if you can remember that, I did say that I would be getting some of these bottles of the Infusionist from Aldi and giving them a taste because in that, in that video, I'd got one of these for Christmas and I, I was quite impressed by it. So I have been to Aldi um, quite a few weeks ago now, so not all of this selection may be available, but I'm sure there will be others if, if they aren't. So, but I just thought uh, I would I'd pick these four at random and give them a taste and see what we think to them. So, you know, they're an idea for gifts or if you're just, you know, looking for something new to try. So, here we go. So, let's have a look. So, the first one is this one. Now, I can't remember what they all were. So, this is Mango Papaya and Yuzu Vodka Liqueur. And that's my phone that I haven't put on silent again. So, here we go. So, mango, papaya, and yuzu. Hmm. It's nice, you can taste, you can definitely taste the mango in it. it. Has a little sharpness when you have that first drink, that first sort of sip, but then the second one isn't too bad, so it is quite nice. It's a little more sharp than the one that I mentioned in my previous video, and you know what? I honestly can't remember what that one was. Uh, but if you go and watch my previous gifts video, then you'll be able to see what that one was. So that one's nice. Not sure you could drink a lot of it, but if you just want to try something a bit different, then it's it's worth a go. It's not. It's not, it's not bad, but like I say, it's just got that little bit of sharpness to it on that first sort of, first sort of taste. Now this is the one that was on sale, so whether or not this one is being phased out, I do not know. If I can get into it, because this, this one was half the price of the others. Now this one, what was this one? This is Candy Cane Gin Liqueur. Now, I was always going to, oh that's sticky. Which is a bit weird considering it was wrapped up. It smells like toothpaste. Kind of tastes like toothpaste. Kind of tastes like mouthwash. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Doesn't really taste of candy cane. Um, it, it, it tastes more like mint than candy cane. To me, it just tastes like, it kind of tastes like mouthwash. It's very strange. And I, I don't, I'm presuming it's not because I've had the, the other one first. No, that's very strange. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's a bit weird. Mm. It just, it kind of tastes like toothpaste. That's what it, I don't know, to, to me, it tastes like toothpaste. I'm not, that, that's not a bad thing. I mean, everyone brushes their teeth, right? And you, you buy toothpaste, generally you'll pick a brand that you like the, the taste of, I guess. But, yeah, the candy cane gin liqueur. Bit weird. Bit weird. Yeah. Very weird. I'm just going to get some water. Mm. With a nice little chlorinated water. So yeah. Um, no, that one I'm not sure about. It's a bit weird. A bit weird. So, this one is passion fruit gin liqueur. Most of these, I think I can remember actually when I went, they were nearly all gins. Um, they didn't have many vodka ones. Um, and I'm more of a vodka drinker, so I mean that could explain it a little bit. 
Now this one's going to take some getting into, just bear with me one second. I sh probably should have planned this a little bit better, but we will get into this, I'm sure. Come on. Normally they have like a little, that one had like a tear off bit in it, but this one doesn't appear to it. That one, oh God, who knows. They need to have a word with whoever is like making their bottles to get some unification on there. Because that one's just like a metal screw top. This one's got plastic on it with no rippy bit on it. So don't find this at home. And then that one had a, was, was plastic, but it had a, oh, that's a broken knife. Wow, this is a disaster, big knife. Definitely don't try this at home. There we go. Right. <laughs> now we are in, kind of. So a bit of plastic on there, but let's try and get this off. Planning is everything, remember this people, <laughs> planning is everything. So yeah, this one, to be fair, this one like, looks like you could do with a shake. Put that back on. So this is passion fruit gin liqueur. Hmm. Strange, strange looking one. So let's give it a whirl. I don't know if you can hear the rain, it's absolutely hammering it down. And I've, I've got a flat roof, so it's just like. I don't really want to make that one. It's not bad, it doesn't you know, I mean it's it's not sweet. I think it's something I don't think I'd buy again. So like the last two are ones I don't think I would, I would you know, go out of my way to buy. The first one is something I probably would buy. The one that was in my, my previous video, which for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. I'd buy that again. In fact, I did buy that again. When I bought these four, I bought another one of those and I actually drank that bottle. Um, now this one I had to buy. So I'm so sorry my phone keeps going on oh. because this now this should be the best one of them all <laughs> because this is chocolate orange rum liqueur now chocolate and orange are always good and then when you add alcohol they are even better and of course on this one we have again a different stopper so we've had three, three, four, even four different sort of wrappings, which is, you know, stick, stick, you know, I would imagine they were all being done in the same place. So why each one seems to have a different wrapping, I don't know. Doesn't really taste chocolate orange, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes nice. Out of all, out of the four, this is my favourite. So if you're going to start with one, I would say start with the chocolate orange rum liqueur out of these four. I would probably say it would be worth giving those to a miss, to be honest. Personally, I didn't like them, but 
That's just me. I mean, let me just try the toothpaste one again, just to make sure. I'm gonna be drunk at this rate. Luckily, they're not overly strong. I mean, they're still strong enough. I mean, I presume they're all about 20. Yeah, that's 20. I'm fairly sure they're all 20, but I'll just double check. Yeah, they're all 20%. I still sm I don't know if it's because you smell it and it kind of smells like toothpaste or that's what get just you know they do say that when you eat something you eat visually you know through smell and through taste so it's not all just you know what is hitting your tongue but to me that just tastes like toothpaste I mean don't get me wrong it's not unpleasant it's not horrible the only one that and lean towards not being horrible, but not being not being to my tastes was the um, the passion the gin the little bit of I mean if I had <laughs> the gin passion fruit liqueur. So the chocolate orange doesn't really taste like chocolate orange, but is very nice. So that's that's a, a definite yes. The, what was this one? Mango, papaya and yuzu. That's nice. A little bit sharp on that first drink, but we like that. So those two are, are going down as recommendations to go out and give a go. The passion fruit gin liqueur. For me, I'd give that a miss. Not, not a fan of that one. Didn't really... Wasn't really feeling that one. And then the candy cane liqueur, gin liqueur. I'm on the fence because it's not horrible, but it makes me think of toothpaste. And um, if you're having a drink or having friends over and you're going, oh, you know, let's just have a, um, you know, a little shot of something. Um, would I buy, you know, would that go down? Probably not. I mean, I think for my money, as nice as some of these are, I'd probably go and buy some corkies. But at the same point, at the same time, they ain't too bad, you know. The the vodka one that I had before that I got for Christmas, I really like that. Like I say, this vodka one is very nice. Just wash that first sip. Um, the chocolate orange rum liqueur, again, yeah, we like that. The candy cane liqueur, <laughs> I don't know how something so pink can taste of mint. That's what it tastes like to me. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know if it's just me. If anyone tries any of these and actually watches this video, which is highly unlikely because nobody watches my videos, <laughs> but if anyone does try this and watches my videos or any of these, let me know what you think because Excuse me, I'd be really interested to know uh, like what other people think about these. So just to recap of what we've what we've tried here, I'll just get these all lined up again. So we've had it's all from Aldi. It's the infusionist range. And it's passion fruit gin liqueur. Candy cane gin liqueur. Mango, papaya, and yuzu vodka liqueur, and chocolate orange rum liqueur. So, for me personally, we're giving a yes to the chocolate orange. I know I've said this already, but I'll just recap. Uh, chocolate orange rum liqueur is a yes. Mango, papaya, yuzu vodka liqueur is a yes. Just watch that first uh, first sip. It's got a bit of a tang. The candy cane gin liqueur we're on the fence with because we're not sure if it tastes too much like toothpaste. And then the passion fruit gin liqueur, we're saying probably leave that one. But if you do try any of these or if you have tried any of these, please drop me a comment below so I can see what your thoughts were. Thank you very much for watching. And I know there was the, um, the other vodka sort of liqueur spirit um, that I tried and I, they do a range as well and I am at some point going to get um, a range of those to try as well. Now that is I'm afraid going to be dependent on my budget uh, at the moment 
I have nil point in the bank. But thank you for watching, and obviously as soon as I do uh, get myself in a position to buy a range of those, I will try them and let you know what I think of those as well. So thank you very much. I'm going to go and make sure there are no holes in my roof, and I'll talk to you next time. I'm going to get around to finishing it. So I am going to record that bit today, and then hopefully put it all together, which is not going to look very good for continuity, but we don't care about those sorts of things here, do we? No. Um, so basically what I did was, after giving sort of my opinions on these drinks, got a couple of other people to test them as well. So it's just to, to go with sort of that feedback. And so first of all, we did have the chocolate orange rum liqueur. Now I did like this. I said I wasn't sure I could taste the chocolate orange, but as I drank some more of it, I decided that actually that did come through and pretty much everybody did like this one um, so that one is, is a winner now the mango papaya and yuzu vodka um, my dad was on the fence with this my mum th thought it was all right and her husband I think what if you remember said it wasn't too bad now, this one, this is the candy cane one, this is the one that I said I thought tasted a bit like toothpaste. Not to the fact that it wasn't bad, I just thought it tasted a bit like toothpaste. Now, this is my mum's favourite. My dad didn't like it at all. And my mum's husband was, well, this alcohol, so. <laughs> and then, um, gave me the passion fruit, my dad didn't like this one either. My mum did like it. Um, I think her husband did like it as well. So pretty much, you know, everyone sort of, thought most of them were okay. My dad didn't sort of like two of them. Um, my mum, everyone that sort of tried the candy cane one did think it was a bit toothpaste she apart from my mum who just thought it tasted nice and that was her favourite. So it just goes to show obviously, you know, it's, well, obviously people are going to have their own sort of ideas on these things anyway. I can get rid of these bottles now as well because they've been hanging around my house for ages. It's going to make me look like an alcoholic because I've just thrown a couple of wine bottles out as well. Oh, oh dear. But, yes, so, that was just a sort of... Mm, they don't smell as good now. <laughs> um, that was just to give sort of some other, other people's opinions, but everyone pretty much, like I say, like the chocolate orange one, and then the rest... They were like, you know, like I say, different people have different tastes. Like, my mum was the only person to say the candy cane one was her favourite. So there we go. But yeah, there we go. Oh, shake. Shake, shimmer. Oh, oh, yeah. There's a little bit of that left. I can see it now. This one does have a cool thing on it that I only just noticed. Where if you shake it, it kind of like shimmers and looks cool. I don't think you can get this one anymore, though. I didn't see it when I was in Aldi the other day. But I didn't really have much luck. I was only in there to look at the you know, the middle aisles, the fun aisles, the aisles of stuff, you know, the one-offs. I want to get some drink, you know, because I've got to buy some Martins. Not that you really need to know that, but there we go. So yes, that was just a little bit of extra feedback. I mean, frankly, if it's got alcohol in it, there's a good chance I'll drink it, to be fair. But there we go, you know, that just comes with years of practice. Well, <laughs> stay chilled and thanks for your time. Bye.